All right, guys, so if you guys are looking to play Cook Your Own Kingdom and the latest BTS minigame on your PC, as in fact, any of the Android mobile games, then look no further, guys. I'm going to share with you guys the emulator that I personally use for a year and a half now, and that is going to be LD Player. So let's get into it. Let me show you guys exactly how you guys can download and set it up in order for you guys to play the mobile game that you want. All right, guys, so if you guys go to my YouTube channel or if you guys do want to just search it up on Google, you guys can do that as well. But if you guys click on one of my videos, you're going to be able to go to the description below here and uh, there will always be a link right over here to download LD Player for Cookie Ran Kingdom. So I'm going to click on that link right now and you guys are going to be able to get led to this page right over here. And that is going to be LD Player's website. So you guys can click on this right over here in order to download LD Player 9. If it does not download LD Player 9 automatically, then go onto the top left hand corner uh, that is covered by my logo right now. But you're going to be able to go to this page right here. And all you need to do is click on this download LD Player 9. And that is automatically going to download LD Player's download application for you. So once that happens, click on it and just open it up. And once you guys have that application downloaded, click it, open it up, and you guys are able to install this. I would just say, you know, just uh, install it as it is. And that is going to be the best way for you guys and the quickest way. And before I move further on into the video, I do want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by LD Player. And you guys might be thinking, hey, dude you're sponsored by ld player you might just want to promote your sponsor however i do want to let you guys know even before i got sponsored by ld player i have been using it for a very long time so my opinion about ld player does not change guys they've actually made it even better and smoother over the year so my personal opinion about ld player is actually even better than before all right so once you have installed ld player 9 you're going to be able to click on it right here and then you just open it up and once you have it opened up it's not going to look exactly like mine because i do have oven break cooking Ring kingdom as well as this one game alice fiction downloaded but you're gonna actually have just these two right over here on the side of the ld player store as well as the system app you do not need to go to ld store you just need to go directly to play store and then sign into your google account and then search of cookie run kingdom all right and it will automatically appear and all you need to do is download or update i guess there's an update for me so make sure to download it and update it and then once that happens guys all you need to do is open it up and then log into your account all right so of course when you guys first load into a new device you're gonna have different options to log into your account make sure to use the account that you guys have set up in order to log into that particular account so make sure to link it to dev play or google or wherever it is all right guys and once you guys have ld player downloaded and cooking on kingdom downloaded and you have logged into your account you're gonna be able to see this right over here and you will see your kingdom so quick basic controls that you guys need to know is how to zoom in and out of your kingdom and that is going to be pressing on control and then scrolling in and out and that is going to allow you to scroll in and out through your kingdom and that's how you zoom in and out all right so that is kind of like the basic control and of course you just use your mouse to click on things that you need to click on and some of the things that i do recommend you guys to do is to first go into setting and uh, if your computer is not a very high spec computer and you guys are having difficulties running it or it's very, very laggy uh, while you guys are playing something, then I do recommend you guys change to 30 FPS and then also change the resolution to around middle. Low is a little too low, so just change it to middle. Uh, turn off skill effects, turn off vibration, and then turn off any of the other notification as well. And also do like to go to the notification section to get rid of the global messages because that kind of constantly pops up in the right hand corner and that is going to kind of affect the speed as well a little bit all right depending on your device all right so once you guys have all that setting uh kind of you know set for the in game you're going to now go into the ld player setting and that is going to be found right over here uh you guys are going to be see on the right hand corner right there so click on this and you're going to be able to see this setting button right over here or the setting that is going to pop up in front of you all right, so first of all, it's going to be uh, the resolution. I do keep it at tablet mode and the uh, 1080p. However, it depends on your device. You can definitely change it to 1280 by 720. And then, or even you can just go to the mobile uh, mode and change it to the 1080 right here. All right, so, or you can even customize it depending on how you guys want it, but make sure to mess around with it to find the best resolution for your computer. And I do recommend you guys keep your CPU as four core and the RAM as just recommended. All right. Of course, you guys can lower it depending on your device. Just keep in mind the slower it can get as well. All right. Uh, the rest of them, it uh, really doesn't matter. The model as well as the game setting, you guys can keep it at uh, 60, which is going to be default. 
Uh, if you have a high-end PC, you guys can definitely enable the high frame rate, but you guys are playing Cookie Run Kingdom, it really doesn't matter. If you're playing something like COD or, you know, PUBG on this thing, then you guys can do that. And that's pretty much the setting portion. Now, the most important thing is in order to play the BTS minigame, that is going to be keeping your keybind, all right? And the keybind is going to be actually right below the setting button. It's going to look like a keyboard. And once you press that, you're going to get this whole menu right over here. I'm going to kind of scoot it to the left. And then let me put my face on the top here. And you're going to be able to see the little buttons right here. Uh, and in the beginning, you're actually going to have uh, these check the mark right here on the right side. And that is going to actually show you guys once you guys get out of LD player. Sometimes it's going to be you're going to be able to see like buttons on your LD player. And that is because these things are pressed. All right. So once that is pressed, you can see like the Q, E, R, uh, T and one, two, three. All these buttons are showing up. Getting rid of them. You just need to disable them. All right. And then you just save it and you won't see them again. And then uh, the most important thing, once again, is going to be setting up your keybind in order to play the mini games. All right. So right now for me, I have it as set as S, K, as well as spacebar right here. Q, W, E, R, T. All right. And that is for the skill order of the cookies. All right. So, uh, you know, you guys can definitely use this, but I like to uh, go into the BTS mini game, actually. All right. So let's get into it. And then just go to any of the tutorial, really. All right. And then uh, all you need to do is see exactly where your uh, buttons are. All right. So, for example, right now, uh, this is going to be right here. So you're going to be able to see the side to side is a little chopped up, but you're going to be able to see the jump and slide. So for me, I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to set it up so that it is going to be, uh, you know, set to how I want it. I know you guys can't see, but my arrow to go to the left is actually set at S and then it's set at Q for the right side. I'm going to change this right over here to something like, uh, you know, I'll change it to D and then I'll change the other one to the F. And then for jump, I'm going to change it to J and slide. I'll change it to just uh, or keep it at K. All right. So that's going to allow me to just use these two buttons right here. And that's pretty much it. All you need to do is click on save. All right, guys. So once you set that, you guys can definitely just go ar uh, around and uh, mess around with it. You can go side, side to side and jump and slide using the buttons that you have set. Uh, it does not have to be exactly the same as mine. Right. And now uh, we once we get into the rhythm part, it's going to be exactly the same, guys. You know, you're going to use the exact same buttons. Uh, for me, it is going to be, you know, left to right, uh, depending on where I put it. So there you guys go. Uh, the jump and slide button is going to be for the two buttons on the right. And then the side to side is going to be for the two buttons on my left. All right. So you guys can see that I'm using my keyboard right now to play this tutorial uh, rhythm portion. All right. And that's pretty much exactly how you guys can play. Uh, the Cookie Run Kingdom, as well as the BTS uh, mini game right now on the PC in case, you know, you don't have a mobile device in case uh, your mobile device is a little bit too laggy and you guys do have a, a good enough PC to try and run LD player. Uh, you guys can definitely try that out. Of course, there are going to be variations like uh, BlueStacks, Nox and other uh, emulators like that. But like I said before, Personally, I've been using LD Player. It's been one of the best emulators I've used. They constantly update it. They have constantly uh, kept up the update for Cooking on Kingdom as well. And also just any of the other mobile games, you guys can definitely play on it here. And before I end the video, some of you guys might be asking, hey, is LD Player safe? It definitely is safe. Although, you know, sometimes it might trigger some virus, uh, you know, detection. It's because of the fact that it is going to be downloading something foreign to your computer. And that is going to be kind of like an automatic setting. Don't worry, guys. It's not going to put virus on your computer. I've downloaded it on all of my devices. I have never caught any virus. I have been using it for, like I said, over a year and a half now. And I have never caught any virus as well. But besides that, I have never had any problems uh, with LD Player. Maybe just a little bit laggy depending on the server. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's how you guys can exactly play Cookie Run Kingdom as well as any of the other mobile games that you guys want to play on your PC. So uh, check out LD Player, guys. Once again, the link is going to be down in the description below. But good luck with all your gameplay, and I'll see you guys all on the next one.